Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Endosit BIWMIL91484 integrated washing machine. And what I want to do today is to show you around the washer some of the features and benefits that it offers. But just before I start, all I'd normally say is please subscribe to my YouTube channel, just give us a quick thumbs up. I normally talk about household appliances like these, I do specialise in cordless vacuums, and there's normally a bit of tech in there, so I would appreciate a quick subscribe, then we'll make a start. This machine has a maximum capacity of up to 9kg, and also the spin speed is up to a maximum of 1400. There are other Indesit machines available in their range, a 7-8kg, and also they do a larger model as well, uh, but for the purpose of this video it's the 9kg, but really the features and benefits across all the different load sizes will be pretty similar. I know a lot of people are used to seeing an integrated appliance with a furniture door on the front. At the moment this hasn't got the door on the front, uh, but clearly you normally would do. As far as the installation of the machine, you've just got the normal water connections on the back, uh, the mains and also the waste hose, that's pretty standard. Uh, as far as putting the door on, you have got the option, uh, because you do get a large bag of installation items, so you've got things like the the feet within here, uh, you've got the door hinges as well. Uh, I'm not going to go through the installation side of it, uh, there is a separate guide within the instructions to show you how to do it, uh, but clearly on this machine you can either have the door hung on the left hand side or the right hand side. That's something to try and point out because not all integrated washing machines have that option. Uh, majority of people will put it on the left hand side purely because when you open the door that way then you open the main door to the same side. Some people will think it's a little bit odd if you've got the door, the furniture door opening this side and then having to go in and open the main door to the left. Uh, but that really depends, I suppose, if you've got a wall. So if you had a wall one side, then it could make it a lot easier just to have the furniture door hung the other side. As far as using the machine, it's really easy. You've got the on and off button here and then you've got the program selector in the middle. And it's got all the numbers around here for the different programs and they're all listed on the front here of the soap drawer. Just while we're talking about the drawer here, uh, that just pulls out, so it's really easy to access. Uh, this kind of design, the swing out design, is something that Hotpoint and Indesit have used for, for several years now. Uh, it's something that goes down pretty well with customers. Um, it has got the ability to pull out, so if you wanted to take it out, then all you need to do is just lift that up, and then this will slide out like that. You can just take this out if you want to, just go and uh, perhaps pop it in the dishwasher or make sure it's washed pretty in pretty hot temperature just to make sure it's nice and clean. And then that just locates back in and then you're ready to go with that. Uh, as far as the programs on the front, uh, I'll just quickly run through some of these uh, because what you'll find is that you've got the, the, although you've got this little display here, so you've got the temperatures, you've got the spin speeds, and you've got the time delay option. I'll cover that in a bit more in a moment. You haven't got a display to show you how long each program is. So I'm just going to run through some of the programs quickly. So what Indus have concentrated on is a 30 degree zone on the first five programs. We are realizing that people are washing at much lower temperatures now. Uh, I suppose if you go back five, 10 years and people were washing at 40, 60, 90 degrees, people are still washing at those temperatures, uh, but it is becoming quite normal to be washing at lower temperatures, say 20 or 30 degrees. Um, I must say, I'm not a huge fan of some of the lower temperatures. I think some of the washing performances are not quite as good. Uh, that's not really a debate for this video, uh, but personally, I'm still a fan of some of the the medium, say a 40 degree and above, to get a really good washing performance. Uh, but it's always going to be a balance of the amount of electricity and water that they're using compared to the washing performance. But anyway, so as I say, this is the, the first five programs are in the 30 degree zone, as they call it. Uh, so the first program is the Cotton 30. Uh, that way you can only spin at a maximum of a thousand spin. Uh, so what it will do is, unfortunately I've not got this plugged in at the moment, uh, but what it will do is it will display the maximum spin speed that you can spin at. Uh, so don't assume, I suppose something else to comment on is, don't assume that the maximum load you can put in for every wash is 9 kilograms. Uh, there are actually very few programs that you should put a, or have the ability to put a full load in. So with this program, the Cotton 30, this has a maximum load of 4.5 kilograms. Uh, similar to this is synthet Synthetics, put my teeth back in, 
So the synthetics, 30 degrees, uh, same concept, 1000 spin, four and a half kilograms. Uh, the first two programs, you're looking around an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes to do those. Uh, as you go on to the next program, so the, the colors, that one is uh, pretty similar, a thousand spin, four and a half kilograms, and around an hour and a half. Uh, and then just skip the delicates, because that's a, a similar program. Then you've got the rapid 30. Uh, the main advantage of that is it's a very quick program. It's only a 30 minute program. Uh, a lot of people are, uh, I suppose, finding out that on new machines, uh, wash times have got a lot longer. Uh, we get comments from people, not really complaints, but it does tend to be comments from people where they bought a machine, perhaps they've not done the research onto the duration of each program, and they're finding some of the programs are going in an hour and a half, two hours or, or above, for, especially for some of the eco programs. So it's quite nice to see that we've got a, just a quick program on here. That's the Rapid 30. So it will only spin at 800. So 800 spin is the maximum you can spin it at. And it's only half a load, so four and a half kilograms. Uh, but that could, for some people, that could be a lifesaver if you just want to wash something pretty quickly. Uh, as you come into the main, like the traditional programs, as they're calling it, uh, the cotton program, this is one of the programs where you can wash the maximum nine kilograms. Uh, temperatures, you can go all the way up to 90 degrees, and you can go up to 1400 on this. Something I'll try and point out to people is the water consumption. Uh, I'm not going to cover it for each wash, uh, but just to let you know, on this wash, so on the cotton, program you're looking around 95 litres of water uh, so it's not the most energy efficient program uh, what I would recommend is if you are looking for something a bit more energy efficient then work your way down to say the eco 40 to 60 that's program 9 you will also find that the duration of the program is very similar so on the cotton program a nine kilogram load you're looking around between three and a half and four hours to do a full wash and that will use 95 litres of water on the cotton program. If you select the Eco 40 to 60, although the time is very similar, you're looking around three and a half hours to three hours 40. So again, it's still quite a long program, but the amount of water it uses is only around 54 liters. So it's not quite half the amount. So you're looking at 95 liters as against 54 liters, but that's why it's really important to have a read through the instructions first of all. If you have followed me on YouTube for a while, you will know that I'm not a huge fan of instructions, uh, but without the little display on here to show you the, the time remaining in the, the wash, then I think it's quite important to have a quick read through. If you're looking for a dedicated program with a low temperature, then the 20 degree program number 12 is probably the one to look at. You have also got the woolen program. Uh, clearly with some of these programs, like the woolens, then you don't want to spin them too fast. So the maximum spin speed that you can spin the woolen program at is 800 RPM. Uh, you will find the temperature, so the maximum you can spin, sorry, the maximum you can wash at is 40 degrees. Um, what you can do with these buttons, you can press that and it will lower the temperature for each wash. So although I've been quoting some of the maximum figures, you can always lower the temperature if you want to. Within the spin speeds, uh, it will go up to a maximum of 1400, then you've got 1000, 800, 600, and you also have the no spin option as well. So that's quite a good, uh, a good option here. Uh, you've also got, just on the right hand side, you've got a time delay option. So if you've got things like economy seven, uh, where you've got cheap electricity during the night, or if you just want to have the machine to start at a later time, then you've got the option of three, six or nine hours that you can delay it by. And the idea of this program, the push and go, is it's a very quick program for you just put a handful of items in and it will wash very quickly. Uh, so with this one, it's the maximum temperature is only 30 degrees. Uh, you can only put a three and a half kilogram load in. So it's, it's around, well, just over a third of the load that you could put in. Uh, but the idea is that it will take around 45 minutes to do the full wash. Now for a lot of people, again, as I mentioned earlier, that could be a lifesaver. So that's quite a good option compared to the Rapid 30. Just at the top here, you have got something called a progress indicator. So although you haven't got a little dis display showing the time remaining in the program, then it does give you an idea as to whereabouts in the wash it is. Uh, so you've got the washing, rinsing, spinning, and then draining. Uh, just on the right hand side here, you have got other options as well. Uh, you've got a stain button here. So if, you, uh, if you've got kids, for example, then you will be, this will be a common thing 
where the kids have got stains down their say school shirts or t-shirts um, but what you can do is if you've got things like a uh, a food stain or oily stain or grass stain then what you can do is you if you press this button then it will increase the wash duration uh, but you can find that the performance of the wash and the ability to get the stain out should be very good and just below that you've got the extra rinse option uh, which can be very good if you've got somebody in the household that suffers from things like allergies then it's nice to have the option to add an extra rinse onto the program uh, you've also got the easy iron option uh, that's good as a lower agitation spin. Uh, that can help to reduce the, the amount of creases that you get within the clothes. Also here, you've got the child lock facility. Uh, this could be good if you've got little people in the household where they come along and start to press buttons or change the program. That will avoid that. And all you do is normally hold that down for normally around three seconds just to enable that. And then to take the child lock off is the same idea. Press and hold the button for around three seconds. This is the energy label for the washing machine. As you can see, it's rated a C rating, which is actually pretty good. If you're comparing it to other machines within this price range, then a C rating is actually very good. It does show below that it's a 65 kilowatt hours per 100 cycles. So again, that's very energy efficient. Uh, as far as the 50 liters of water, uh, clearly that will vary depending on the program you're choosing. And that's really why I recommend it to have a good read through the instructions as to which programs to pick um, beforehand, uh, you will find 70 decibels. Uh, so again, that's very good because what this machine uses, as it shows on the front here, something called an inverter motor. Uh, the main advantage of an inverter motor, first of all, it's a lot quieter. So you will find, and that's really reflecting in the noise level. Uh, also, it can be more energy efficient. Uh, also, it can last longer. So normally a, an inverter motor is a much better way to go. And normally they're on higher end machines, not really at machines priced at this price point. If you are thinking about buying one of these machines, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Indesit BRW MIL 91484 integrated washing machine. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video, click subscribe, leave any comments below. I do always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad about the video. If I've missed something, then just pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Also, if you've got any questions on the machine, because yeah, this machine, it does actually cover quite a lot. There's a lot you can do with it. If you've got any questions on it, then again, just pop it in the comments. Also, if you have got one of these or an integrated washer or a hot point, because it's the same company, then let me know what you think about it, because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.